in Council Committee Motion 100 on G4S. This motion is not about the role of G4S and the role they're playing in the privatisation of UK prisons and civilian police staff. It's not about the allegations of substandard housing provided through G4S as asylum accommodation in Yorkshire and Humberside. It's not even about the involvement of G4S staff in events leading to the death of Jimmy Mabenga, who died in October 2010 while being forcibly deported to Angola, although all these issues demand attention. This motion is a direct response to the appeal by former Palestinian prisoner Shireen Essawi, sister of hunger striker Sama Essawi. She called on us, the supporters throughout the world of the Palestinian people, as I quote, to deliver the voice of the oppressed prisoners and hold this company, G4S, accountable for its responsibility towards these prisoners and its partnership with the occupation in its inhumane practices. It must stop providing these supplies to the occupation, freedom for our prisoners. Prisoners like 30-year-old Arafat Jaradat, father of a two-year-old and a four-year-old with a pregnant wife. He was arrested on suspicion of throwing a stone. Five days later, he was dead. His post-mortem showed broken ribs, bruising, lash marks on his back and shoulders, blood in his nose, and bruising in his mouth. He died in Megiddo prison, where the central command room was provided and is run by G4S. His interrogation, and judging by his post-mortem, his torture, had taken place in the notorious Al Jalami Center in northern Israel. The charity Defense the Children International has reported that this facility locks children in small, filthy cells in solitary confinement, sometimes for months. They are occasionally let out to the interrogation room where they are shackled by their hands and feet to a chair. The security systems in this facility are provided by G4S. It is in breach of the Geneva Convention for persons from an occupied territory to be detained in the occupier's own country. But this happens in Israel all the time. G4S provides the mechanisms and the logistical support to allow this to happen. It is not only complicit in human rights abuses, it profits from them. It is complicit in and profits from the transfer of prisoners and detainees. It is in complicit in and profits from running prison compounds and control facilities which hold Palestinian political prisoners and those held under administrative detention. It is complicit in and profits from the detention and interrogation of Palestinian children. This is the fourth largest company in the world. It employs 650,000 people. It made half a billion pounds profit last year, and its British chief executive has just been given a one million pound pay rise. In response to being targeted in recent years by the press and NGOs, notably in Norway and Denmark, G4S has stated that it aims to exit from a number of contracts in the West Bank between 2012 and 2015. But these only cover military checkpoints and one Israeli prison and one police station in the West Bank, and only when the existing contracts expired. What about all the others of prisons, detention centres and interrogation centres? A petition was submitted to G4S in Norway only five months ago. It called, as this motion calls, for G4S to immediately withdraw from all activities in occupied Palestine and halt all services to Israeli prisons where Palestinian prisoners are detained in violation of the Geneva Convention. It was signed by, amongst others, the Norwegian Energy Workers Union, the Norwegian Transport Workers Union, and the largest union in Norway, the Norwegian Union of Municipal and General Employees. Delegates 
Tomorrow is annual Palestinian Prisoner Day. Scottish Palestine Solidarity invites you all tomorrow at 12.30 to meet outside this wall for a massive group photograph which will be sent as a show of solidarity to Palestine's political prisons. Please attend tomorrow's fringe meeting in the Sally Hortation Hotel at the close of Congress where we'll hear speakers from Norway's largest union, the Union of Municipal and General Employees, and from the BDS International Committee. This Congress and its General Council has an astounding record of supporting the Palestinian people going back over 30 years. Our policy on boycott, disinvestment and sanctions has been an inspiration and has acted as a yardstick for others around the world. The STVs, the STVs, the activist pact on BDS mentions companies like Eden Springs. Let's add G4S. For it's truly shameful to be complicit in and profit from the operation of facilities including torture, illegal detention, and the, the, the beating and contained confinement of children. I move.